again, this is a swingometer that nearly broke because it's nearly 10% swing against the Lib Dems by Labour. But it didn't really do Labour any good at all because the seats weren't there for the taking. What a night, David. What a night. And, Jeremy, what a, what a, what a wonderful coincidence, or indeed it's a manufactured coincidence, that watching you do that swing is the man who brought swing to British elections, Sir David Butler, who's sitting here. And uh, back in the 50s, he popularised swing when I first did my first election. He was there with his slide rule talking about swing. Did you ever expect, David, to see four swingometers to cover the United Kingdom? And does it work still? Well, I think it worked. I enjoyed listening, watching Jeremy doing those <laughs> things. But um, I think sometimes we get over enthused with the graphics. But it was great fun. <laughs> I first did the first big thing with a swing in 1959 when the second of the three times I sat beside your father in an election. I think I sat beside you twice before I moved to other things in the 1980s. And you preferred it when it was just um, paint and cardboard? <laughs> On the whole, yes. Well, I, 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 well I, I'll tell you what, do you know, David, you'll love this, every time we discuss what we should do for a general election, somebody says, why don't we just have a wooden arrow on a nail? And, and one year we will go back to that, I promise. Uh, For sure. David, I, I don't, we don't want to just talk about that. What about this election? Were you astonished by it and, the, and, and confused by the difference between the polling and the final exit poll? Uh, oh, yes, I'm quite as much as anybody else was. I certainly... I, I, I only claimed I expected the unexpected. You can... An amazing number of elections have been significantly different from the consensus of the polls. I mean, 1992 was the extreme case, but uh, this is an uh, as extreme a case of people all getting it wrong. The polls are terribly glad, and they're all in the, in the mess together, and doing maybe equally, almost equally wrong. You've got a point, Ms. Laura. I just want